Uh, this is a follow-up for the, the spindle lock video that we posted a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I had some friends call me and, and one of them called me up and told me that, uh, hey, I noticed you now have two spindle locks. He says, what are you going to do with the second one? Well, <laughs> you know how that goes. So I finished it up and here's the, here's the old spindle lock that I had and I'm going to give it to him. Okay. I have made some improvements on this, and the reason I didn't do them before, I knew about them, but I didn't think anybody would have the right stuff. I wanted to make it so that you could pull stuff out of the drawer and completely make it. The only difference in this one and the one that I showed is this one has a ball bearing in it instead of this tiny link. And what that allows you to do is first it makes it work a little smoother, and also it allows you to make this bolt a lot shorter. And if you'll zoom down here, you can see on my machine how short you can actually make that by using the ball bearing. Now that's a 3 16 inch ball bearing that you just drop in there and put a spring against it. You don't have to change this at all. This stays the same, it works the same. It's just that instead of the pin, it has the ball bearing and the spring behind it. So I'll take the other one apart and take it off the machine and let you see it. And uh, we also have another improvement on the, the uh, spindle itself that you should know about. I made this purposely so that you could unscrew the, the uh, plunger itself without taking the, the whole thing apart. And you just have this piece to deal with. And it just makes it easy to, to change it or fix it. So I'm going to take this apart for you. Just take this nut off, which is a lock nut. And the bolt, which you can see is very short now. It's only that long. And uh, the spring, I don't know if you can see it or not, is, a, is very short. It just protrudes a little bit ahead of the bolt. And that pushes the ball down in, and, and there's the ball. And this part stays exactly the same. You, you will have to make sure that the notch is wide enough. You can't make it too wide, but you can make it too narrow and the ball won't work. But uh, if you made it the way I showed in the first, it works. You just drop the ball in there, screw this in on top of it. Pushes in easy and it doesn't pull out. If you really pull on it, it will pull out, but you won't do it by mistake. Because if you do do it by mistake, the ball's gonna end up inside of here and you're gonna have to unscrew this to get the ball out or else you put a magnet in this end and pull it out. But these are actually stainless steel balls, so that won't work for me. But uh, it's a 3 16 ball and that's the only change you have to make. And I put a lock nut on it just to make it look nice. It's probably not even necessary. But there's the complete unit there. That level, right about there. Thank you for watching, and if you got something useful out of this, Please subscribe to my channel and give us a thumbs up because that's what they grade us on. Thank you very much.